Hello everyone, this is Rishu from I Love Free Software and today I'm going to show you how you can add annotations on Hitfilm Express. So to do this, first of all import your clip and then drag it to the timeline. Just press yes. So actually I'm going to tell you two methods of how you can add annotations on Hitfilm Express. So the first one is by using transparent background or images which you can easily made on MS Paint or any other editor or you can just download it from the internet. So I already have one so let me just quickly import it. So here I have it's an arrow you can use any shape you want or whatever thing you want. It has to be transparent only. So first of all you have to set the start point and end point of your clip where you want to start your arrow to appear and you have to add the end point where you want it to disappear you can see uh, simply use a selection tool to position it so let's say I want it from there to there so as you can see it's too big so we need to resize it so while resizing it you have to press shift button so you don't mess up with its aspect ratio okay so it's perfect so now you can easily rotate it or just put wherever you want let's say I put it here okay so you can see it will start from this point and end there so this is how you can add annotations on head film by using the first method okay so head film does not have a proper way to add annotations but it does come with a pretty nifty text editor which we are going to use for the second method to add text on head film you need to create a composite chart first to do this, just select your clip and press on make composite chart and then OK. Your clip will open on a composite mode. So now the trick here is instead of using the traditional fonts, we're going to use dingbats. These are the decorative elements available in font format. They look something like this. There are lots of other dingbat fonts available on the internet. I'll leave the link for some of them on the description below. You can check them out. So back to the topic. Uh, if you need to add text, you need to select the text tool first and create a text box. And now go to the text tab and select the font. Okay, so uh, I'm going to use these web symbols and now resize it a little bit okay that's about enough a little bit more let's make it 200 okay so now I'll choose a color uh, it's red okay now okay so if I want a arrow here I need to press J for that you can check the list here to see what character does what Okay, let's say if I want this curvy arrow, I need to press H. So let's say if I press H in there, I'll make this text box a little bigger because I must not able to see this. Okay, let's move it here and now resize it. Okay, now if I press H, see. Uh, there's this uh, little curvy arrow appears so yeah that's how you can annotate in your videos and you can do your usual uh, rotations and if you want to uh, create a start point and end point uh, of this clip you just have you just need to select the slice tool and slice it 
there and where, wherever you want your endpoint and then select the selection tool and remove the remaining path okay so now this only appear in that particular area not in the whole video okay, so let's play the video and see okay as you can see that's the second method of how you can add annotations on head film hope this film helps you and if you like the video give a thumbs up and do subscribe our channel i love free software for more tips and tricks bye for now